we farm about 10,500 acres, give or take. Uh, cotton, corn, rice, soybeans are, would be our four mains. A uh, little bit of wheat, and then we, we're, we're open to trying about anything. We've tried peanuts, we've tried yellow peas. We're uh, trying yellow peas. Yeah, trying yellow peas. We looked into sesame seeds one time. Uh, that was a little bit before my time. But, uh, you know, not, not scared to try anything. Uh, you know, my goal is to be integrated, vertically, vertically integrated, and, and very diversified. Uh, whether it's crops or, or, you know, the trucking company, it, it's a big asset to us when we're harvesting. And then when we're not harvesting, we're able to run those trucks for, for other people. So uh, that works out pretty well, too. Well, as far as I, we can go back, you know, I, I'm going to be a, a fifth generation farmer. Uh, you know, uh, my dad, my dad farmed, my grandfather farmed, uh, and his father farmed. Different ways, different times, you know. Every farmer you know is generational. It's just a matter of how many generations you go back. You know, like I'm a fifth generation, I'm a sixth generation, and that was um, almost like a title. So to be able to be a part of that is kind of, I guess, important. Again, you know, like you feel like you're carrying on something and keeping it going for your kids and you hope and pray that those kids want to do that and so I hope at least one of our boys wants to do it when he gets older. Our operation is really centered around personalities and getting along and family. You know as I told you before our slogan is, is family and these guys that these these members of our team they respect him I would say probably more so or as much as they as they do me. And the reason why is he's in the field. You know, he's, he's his shadow's in the field all the time. So he's not asking them to do something that he hadn't done or willing to do himself. And his relationship with, with this team is, is unbelievable. You know, the things that, that we're learning, I mean, he changes, he changes things we do yearly. I mean, it's not, okay, well, this, this is what I'm doing and I'm only gonna do this. And, so the, the innovation in this farm, I hope to continue. I hope to not be doing exactly, I mean, unless it's absolutely working. I hope to not be doing exactly what we're doing now. Uh, I mean, I, I hope to be able to take, take what we're doing and, and make it better. I mean, like he took what his dad and my mom's dad did and make, made it better. I mean, there, there's never, nothing's ever perfect. Everything can be improved. Uh, I just hope that when my boys get it, that it's, that it's better than it was when I got it. I hope that they will love it and want to farm. And Because you don't farm because it's a job, you farm because you love it. It's a lifestyle and not just a job.